Greetings, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about the top 12 Landsat image sites. Recently, I wrote an essay about the sites that are, in my judgment, the top 10 in terms of containing useful geospatial data. In this video, I'd like to describe what I consider to be the top sites for Landsat satellite imagery in terms of content and ease of use. This is strictly my opinion, but it's one that's grounded in 20 plus years of being a heavy GIS user and also from someone who has worked over 30 years in federal agencies, universities, and private companies using geospatial data and also I spent a lot of years producing geospatial data. Let's limit this list to the top 12. Why might such a list be helpful? First, there's no one single site to obtain Landsat data. And second, the sites are in continual flux, with some such as the Global Land Cover Facility disappearing, and some having recently been created. As with any consideration of data portals, make sure you have done a careful assessment of your data needs. Band combinations, resolutions, formats, stream services versus downloadable files, dates, how many files you need, and so on, to guide you before you start searching. Let's start with number one, the Development Seeds Libra portal. I recently used this resource to include in the update for ArcGIS Pro for the Brazil land use change lesson that we host on the Spatial Reserves set of 10 hands-on exercises. It worked really well. We wrote about the Libra portal here, and it remains, in my judgment, a no-nonsense resource that's easy to use with a wealth of options and data. Number two, the EOS Data Analytics Land Viewer. As described here, is a very useful and user-friendly source. The EOS staff also wrote this helpful review of imagery sites. Like the development seed portal, I find its user interface to be very straightforward. The land viewer includes Sentinel-2 and other imagery as well. Number three, the ESRI Living Atlas of the World. Doesn't that sound great? The Living Atlas of the World. And it is great. It's made amazing strides in content and usability since we first wrote about it here. Most of the Living Atlas data is provided as streaming services instead of download. But for an increasing number of workflows, this is actually perfect. It's the best scenario ever. The Living Atlas has, in a few short years, become probably the largest collection of spatial data on the planet. And so I recommend it highly, keeping it in mind, not just for satellite imagery, but vector data as well, some of which can be downloaded onto your own device, and all of it can be streamed. Plus, you can contribute your organization's data to the Living Atlas. On a related note, be sure to check ArcGIS Online for imagery as well, a web GIS platform that the Living Atlas is based on. Number four, the ESRI Landsat Thematic Bands Web Mapping Application. That's kind of a big mouthful, but the ESRI Landsat Thematic Bands Web Mapping Application. As we described in this post, through this application, you can access a variety of up-to-date and historical images, yes, in various band combinations and save specific configurations and locations to share with others. Number five, the USGS Earth Explorer. While the Earth Explorer is, in my view, in need of improvement from the user's perspective, it is functional and it does contain a wealth of data and sometimes is the best source for specific image sets. Number six, the USGS Landsat Look Viewer. I prefer the Landsat Look Viewer's interface over the Earth Explorer as I describe here. Number seven, the USGS Glovis, G-L-O-V-I-S Viewer, Glovis Viewer. I also prefer this interface over Earth Explorer. Globus dis dates back to 2001, so it's been around a while and was redesigned in 2017. Number eight, Landsat 8 Archive on Amazon Web Services, AWS. As described here, this has emerged as an amazing archive of data, which is what you'd expect from Amazon, right? The user, as one might expect, is, is faced with a list of files rather than a fancy user interface, but sometimes, Accessing specific files is exactly what one needs. 
Number nine, Landsat Archive and Google Cloud. Like the AWS experience, the UI here is Spartan, but its data sets are vast, which is what would ex one would expect from Google. Number 10, the FAO Food and Agricultural Association or Food and Agricultural Organization's Geo Network. This site focuses on vector data sets, but its raster holdings include many useful Landsat mosaics for specific geographic areas, such as countries. Number 11, don't neglect this one, folks, Remote Pixel. It's amazing. It's incredibly easy to use, and I hope that if its developer does not maintain it in the future, that someone else will, because it is so marvelous. Remote Pixel. Number 12, finally, the Copernicus Open Data Access Hub as its name implies, focuses on Sentinel data. But if you are interested in Landsat imagery, you probably are interested in other imagery as well. So folks, those are my top 12 favorite, most useful, in my judgment, Landsat imagery sites. I hope this video and this list is useful to you, and I look forward to hearing your reactions and comments. Thanks. Mm -hmm.